Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss about uh, a very famous interview question asked in Google and Uber. So it's like a statement. You have low fat products and recyclable products in your departmental store. Maybe you are running a departmental store. Now this is a statement and from this you will be getting more than one questions. When I say question, data analysis use cases. Okay. So before we get into it, right, I need a table for this and then I have to create some sample data and I have to make an insert. So I just created a table products and I have product ID, product name, low fat, recyclable and category. And if you notice that low fat and recyclable has enum as a keyword, so enum is enumerator. So here I just give Y and N and that means while inserting to this particular column, the enum fields, you can insert either Y or N because you have given that value here. Whatever value we give within enum, only that we can able to insert while creating the table. So we can use one, zero, true or false, yes or no, y, n, and so much other things. So we do have real-time tables. We do have tables with booleans, like either zero or one, true or false. In real-time use cases tables, we will be having such requirements and use cases as well. Okay, so now I've just prepared some 10 records, I just made an insert. So one product A, Y, Y, which is like this product A is, comes under both the category of low fat and recyclable and the category is dairy. So it's like, I don't have the exact product, but I'm giving the category here dairy because the product is all about ABC. I don't want to give a, any specific name of the product. So, but the category is very clear. This is dairy, beverage, snacks, and frozen. Now, let me first show you the output of the select statement. So SQL, let me enter my magic command. So SQL for notebooks. Uh, you can use any MySQL workbench or MySQL command prompt or any other SQL interface you can use, but here I'm using notebook. Okay, so now select star from products. Let me run this. So you got the 10 outputs, right? Because I have only 10 records. So if you see here, right, uh, so I have like product A, low fat yes, recyclable Y and category diary. Okay, so I just showed you this. Now let's get into the data analysis. Now first thing, first question from this requirements and from this use cases, I want to find out the percentage of low fat product. I mean, when I say low fat, Y. Okay, number of products that has Y, you have to find the overall percentage, right? So what is the formula for identifying the percentage? So you have to first take the count of product which has Y and then divide that with overall count of the table and then into 100, multiply that with 100. So that is a generic average uh, finding formula, right? So let's do that. Now I'll go with magic command and then like I have to first select count star from products where low underscore fats equal to y okay so i'm just not finding the percentage first let me get the count of uh, the table which has the records which has low fat y okay six and that means you have to do six divide by the overall count of the table is 10 so six divide by 10 multiply that with 100 so that is what the requirement is okay now here what i'm going to do so divide by you can give 10, but the thing is, this 10 you are hard coding in the SQL. What if there is one more record get added to tomorrow, right? Incrementally, the record can increase. So whenever there is a new count come, I cannot go to my table and then change this hard code value to something else every time. That is a bad practice. So what I'll do, I'll just create a subquery. Okay, select count star from products. Okay. Okay. So if you see this count has a condition that is low fat equal to Y. Okay. But this particular count star doesn't have any condition. It gives always 10 or whatever the count of the table is. Now what you have to do, you have to just multiply this with 100. Now let me run this query. 60%. Obviously, right? Out of 10, 6 record has Y means then obviously it is a 60% of records has low fat. Fine. So now what is the next? requirement okay total recyclable products by category okay let me take the same query okay so or i'll just type it again okay sql so now select count star from products okay so i'll copy this 
okay now i have to find the recyclable product okay recyclable equal to y fine so now i'm just getting the count again for the recyclable so you have six records which has recyclable as y now you have to find out the category based count now i'm giving overall count you have to give the count based on how many uh, dairy product has recyclable how many beverages has recyclable so category based count you have to give for that what you have to do you have to add the category column also as part of your select okay so let me add now if i run this i'll get an error because whenever you add a query a column as part of an aggregated column you have to add a group by else you will get an error so now i have to do a group by based on which column the question itself has the answer right you have to get the count based on the category so you have to group the category and then you have to get the count now let me run this and it says dairy we have one recyclable for beverage we have two recyclable products for snacks we have one recyclable product and for frozen we have two recyclable product so this is what the requirement is fine now the last question product that are either low fat or recyclable what that means okay so it has to be if you take a product it has to be why in low fat or why in recyclable okay if you see there is only one record which falls under no for both and that means we have to exclude this record and let's see whether we have any other record with both as n no only this that means you should get output as nine records because overall 10 only one has both n because the requirement is either it has to be low fat or it has to be recyclable okay now let me write a query for it okay now select count star from products where okay where recyclable y or low fat equal to y okay so now let me run this query oh, i just didn't complete my sql magic command just a second okay fine so nine right so either so i'm just the main part of this query is this r okay and in my previous command the main part is about group by okay and the first question is all about this particular math right so from the statement we are getting three different data processing queries not just for interview even in the real time you will be getting such cases uh, on your uh, data processing and data analysis in your day-to-day -day life etl or data pipelines when you build Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And also I have lots and lots of data engineering videos and especially in big data alone, I have around 25 hours of video. Please go and have a look. Thanks for watching.